This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Sierra Vista residents will no longer be getting a visit from recycling trucks once a week. That's because as of today, a new site to drop off recyclable materials is open. Nine on Your Side's Veronica Acosta has more from that site with more on how it's going to work. Mark, good morning. Well, we know this, right? The recycling market, it has changed. China has stopped buying recyclable materials at the rate that they once did, and that's causing a lot of programs across the country to have to adjust, one of them being right here in Sierra Vista. Now, city officials said the recycling program here was struggling to the point where they were seeing costs rise. They decided that instead of picking up those recyclable materials from the nearly 11,000 Sierra Vista residents that are signed up for that program, they would open this drop-off site. Now, the site will be staffed by both a public works employee and Department of Correction inmates. They will sort through the items here in the hope that that will help minimize contamination. As for the site itself, it opens up today. It'll be open every Monday through Saturday between 8 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. Reporting in Sierra Vista, Veronica Acosta, Kega 9, on your side. Rural Metro firefighters say they responded to a garage fire at about 1030 last night. When crews got there, they, they say an entire full-size detached garage was engulfed in flames. Officials say they were able to put that fire out in about 15 minutes or so. Nobody was hurt and there was no damage to the main house. We still don't know what caused that fire. 21-year-old Mateo Zavala has been booked in Pima County Jail on a laundry list of charges after being connected to a shooting on I-19 over the weekend. The Department of Public Safety says two vehicles were shooting at each other on the interstate. One woman was killed. He's being held on a million dollars bond. Officials say the victim who died and the suspect knew each other. Well, the problems still aren't over for Hacienda Healthcare. Now we're learning that the company has been operating five clinics, including one in Tucson, without a state license. The clinic in Tucson is the Los Niños Sinegas on East Carondelet. Hacienda's previous issues included the rape of an incapacitated woman, as well as discovering a patient treated at their Phoenix location had maggots underneath a bandage. April Madison joining us now for one more look at our forecast this hour. April, good morning to you. Going to be nice and toasty out there today. Going right? to be another hot one, no doubt about it. We've already hit 80, and uh, yeah, we're not even at 7 o'clock yet, so that tells you how hot it's going to be. Our dew point's also up there, so it's muggy and hot. What I can tell you, though, is the dry area is starting to slowly filter in bringing us less chances for rain at least through the work week it'll stay mostly south and east of us with maybe a little bit of mountain buildup our highs will also gradually get back down to the seasonal norms as we get towards the middle of the week more moisture though moves in for the weekend